Hello everybody and welcome to Matt Fryer Golf. Before we get into this video guys, do go and check me out on my social media profiles as always. And also do remember to subscribe to the channel, it's totally free. Loads of tips on there to help your game and loads of other stuff. So today we're going to talk in about ball position with your irons. Um, hear a lot about it in my lessons, where should I have my irons, you know, for for six, seven, eight, nine iron, is it the same as a long iron? Is it the same when I have my wedge? You know, is it front, back, middle? So for me, this is just a little tip to help you strike it a little bit cleaner. What we tend to see um, from a lot of my pupils is the old fashioned way was to have it in the middle of your stance. And if you wanted to get it low, you put it really far back in your stance. Now, in aspects, yes, that is right. But also what we tend to see with a lot of beginners and a lot of you know mid amateur uh, golfers we see that they have the ball sometimes in their mind in the middle and it actually is just a little bit too far back now this can cause a lot of miss striking of the golf ball and obviously lead to poor shots so when we see that the ball here is too far back let's say what we would tend to see now is when you come down to actually hit the golf ball, you're going to have to make an alteration. We see sometimes leaning back. We see sometimes that they throw the club early, trying to get to the ball early and strike it early. And this can lead to some fat, some thins, and like I say, very inconsistent ball striking, which isn't going to improve your golf. So a tip for you today, what I want you to do is you can set up a little cross like this. So you'd have one parallel ball to to your ball to target line and then we're going to put another one that's going to be the middle of our stance now this ranges from sort of five iron all the way down to pitching wedge even sand wedge what i want you to do i want you to try and play the ball in front of the center now so it's going further up your arc further up towards more towards the left foot basically more left-sided if you're a right-handed golfer or more towards your lead foot so what this is going to do by moving it up this way we're not going to get down as steep into the ball now so when we get it back towards our trail leg we're going to have to come down quite steep and we're going to have to move out of the way and make some compensations and you know be pretty accurate with it or we will see some some bad shots from there some bad strikes so by having this ball a little bit further forward in our stance now just in front of center what we're able to do is be a little bit more neutral with our angle of attack. Now we do want a downwards angle of attack with an iron, but we don't want to do it too much because again, you're going to have to be putting a lot of force in there to make sure that you do get the correct strike. So what I want you to do is set up this little cross here that you can see, and then just get a ball and do this with a seven iron to start with guys. All you're going to do is have the middle of your stance of this alignment cane here and then we're just going to put the ball about an inch in front there and all you're going to do is just experiment with hitting some shots from this position and see how it impacts your strike we've moved it up the arc now so it's right next to the low point so what we're going to do we're going to catch the ball first and still a little bit of turf but we're not going to be taking big divots here we want to get away from that and also want to get away from these thins now people think when you move the ball up your arc you will thin it more because you're lifting up on it but actually the low point of your arc is actually just in front of the center of your stance so more towards the lead side so if we've got the correct weight transfer in place that there is another video for that also you will be able to create these more consistent shots now when you get up towards your longer irons, your you know your fours and your fives, depending on what you have in your bag, I want you to try and play that maybe nearly two inches, so just behind the inside of your left foot. So this is going to promote more of a sweeping action, more of a um, a neutral angle of attack, and we're not going to be getting down into hitting down in it too much with a four or a five iron. We want to be sweeping it a little bit more, still down but not as excessive. So hopefully the strike will be a bit sweeter and we're not seeing these big divots and we'll see more consistencies in the strike. So again, have your ball to target line, something parallel to that. Then this middle cane here is going to be the middle of your stance. Put the ball just in front and then give it a go. And you should see that you get some sweeter strikes from there, guys. You're going to eradicate these thins and fats and it's going to help your golf a lot. 
guys very very simple tip that one nice and easy something that you can do and something that you should practice down at the range as well actually have these canes set up when you're down there because it is something it's a basic that we need to always be checking because it will creep back and forward so if you do start to strike it inconsistently go and check the uh, ball position to start with and see what's happening there and then you can have a look at your other swing faults i hope you've liked the tip guys as always do subscribe to the channel it's totally free check me out on my other social media platforms also and again comment down in the box below if there's anything that you want help with i will try to make those videos for you and as always guys i'll see you soon with more tips